Hello everyone and welcome to Nashville Interiors. I'm Denise Simons, your host, and today we're visiting Bark and Burl, where Matt and Mandy found their passion and we'll find out how it got its name. Well, if you've ever heard the song by George Jones, I've got neon in my veins. Well, this couple say they have sawdust in their veins. We're gonna talk with Matt and Mandy. You know, I love that on your website that you put that on there. It sounds like a country song. So how did you come up with that line? Uh, we came up with it because pretty much my entire family, um, from great grandfather, father, uh, siblings, cousins, uncles, Everybody has worked in woodworking, construction, one aspect for another. Um, and then when I got started, I actually got started building homes, which transitioned into remodeling, which transitioned into uh, interior finish work, and then into cabinetry, and then finally into furniture. Wow. Yeah, and then we purchased our first home in 2012. We were looking for, I was looking for, not him. <laughs> we were looking for a house and I wanted something finished. And he said, what are you doing? So we bought a fixer upper home. We fixed up everything, sold it after about three and a half years, purchased our second fixer upper. This one had no running water. Um, we couldn't even live in it. it was oh, awful. wow. So we fully gutted that home, finished it. And as soon as we finished it, I decided Good idea was to move to Nashville. <laughs> we hadn't even lived in the home a little over two years and we just decided to sell it. So we bought another fixer upper over in Sullivan Park area. Um, took a couple of years, finished that. And then we decided it was time for us to get a business. Um, we really wanted a brick and mortar. We found this spot here in Chestnut Hill and we renovated this and uh, here we are today. It's beautiful. What an amazing journey that has helped you be the artisans that you are. We're gonna get the opportunity to show everybody your wonderful creations, but first, I wanna hear about how you got bark in the name. Tell me about that. Yeah, so bark actually can mean two things, right? The bark on the tree, but for us, it means our dogs. Um, we have four dogs, they're such a big part of our lives, so we wanted to include them in the store. Um, they are here, they come and, and visit all the time, so we just wanted them to be part of our business. Can we go meet them? Yes, we can, <laughs> let's go. On. So I noticed like you, you have dog trees, like you let other dogs yes. come? Yes, so we wanted to also make sure that people know that we are dog friendly, um, so they can bring their dogs in. So now we're gonna get to the burl part of your name. What do you have here? So this is a giant white oak burl, um, and burl is basically just highly figured wood. We've all seen it, just nobody knows what it is. Um, the reason why we chose to add that to our name is because when we do a project, we don't cut any knots, splits, checks, anything out of the wood, because to us, that's just character. So we just love everything to have all the natural character that it's supposed to have. So I noticed that you had a project uh, up front and it was a footprint. So wait, what, what are you doing paws. there? Uh, Dog so paws. Those are gonna be um, retail tables for the new Wags and Walks facility. Oh, that's fantastic. So you fill that in with what? Resin. We make the template, we cut uh, shallow pockets, and then it gets poured with resin. Actually, that was all poured last week. It takes about seven, week, seven days to get to the point that it is now. Wow, well, I love your work, and as an interior designer, I can see the influences. I mean, you have shaker, gothic, modern, but how would you all describe your style and what you do? Um, I would describe it as fusion. Um, I don't necessarily have a style. I like bits and pieces from each style. Um, and the way I design is I design for the space it's going in, not for the style of furniture that people want. Um, because some people have extremely modern houses, but they don't necessarily like modern furniture. So we kind of find a way that we can take a modern piece and kind of make it a little more farmhouse or vice versa. So tell me, kind of take me through, you meet with a client and how does it get from your conversation to this beautiful piece of wood? Tell me about that. So we process. will start with um, basic designs. We'll have a consultation, start with basic designs. I'll send out three, four different designs and the customer will pick and choose bits and pieces from each one. We'll kind of come to a final um, design and then what we do is we actually have the customer come in 
and they pick out their wood for their project. Because um, the way I see it is, it's not going in my house, so why would I pick it out? Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And be sure to visit Bark and Burl for all of your custom design furniture needs. Until next time.